Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Adventure Belt. My name is Kelly. I'm Trevor. Hey, today we're doing something really, really cool. We're doing a full walk around of Trev's brand new trailer that he imported from Australia, Lifestyle Campers. Stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So Trev, uh, your trailer is pretty badass. It is. It's the only one in the United States right now. We got more coming in um, and I'm really excited about them. Yeah, they're really, really cool. We actually did a little off-roading to get some video and uh, Trev did a massive hill climb. Actually, yeah. a Jeep came up and was all like, dude, I can't believe you did that with your trailer. I know, <laughs> I know. He's like, he's like, I was really worried. I didn't know if it was gonna flip over, but <laughs> I'm like, it's, that's what it's made to do. Yep, and it did it really, really well. We've already got the trailer unhooked from Trev's 4Runner and that uh, the hookup system with the trailer is really unique. I've never seen that before. Yeah, it's got the Cruise Master DO35 hitch on there, which makes it really easy to connect and disconnect. I mean, it's literally push of a button. Um, it's the easiest one out there that I have found. I remember on Smiley Rock Trail, we we're trying to hook up his other trailer, and that was about 12 minutes of, of suffering. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty painful. Uh, this one, super easy. All right, bro, so your last trailer, it took like 20 minutes to set up. It was painfully on, slow. On, on a good day with Anjali helping me, yes. it took 20 minutes yeah. to set so up. So I, I know you keep talking about how much faster this is. How long do you think it takes to set up? I would say five minutes. Five minutes? Five minutes. How are we willing to bet on it? Dinner bet? Dinner? How Dinner. about beer? All right, one beer. <laughs> All right, how about a case? How about a six pack? Jeez. A six pack of Guinness. <sighs> Guinness is on the table. All right, Guinness it is. All right, so under five minutes, I win over five minutes. No. Over five minutes, you win. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> under five minutes, I win. <laughs> over five minutes, over five minutes, I win. Under five, it's math. It's been a long math. day. I math ran 20 miles up. today. Uh, give me a little, give me some grace here. <laughs> <laughs> over five minutes, he wins. Under five minutes, I, no. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I, have you had Guinness already? Is that what's happening? This six pack is gonna taste so good. <laughs> Over five minutes, I win. Under five minutes, he wins. Go. I use my phone. And are you helping me, or is this by myself? I'm not helping you. All right, by myself. All five right, minutes. Go. That's gonna make it a lot, lot harder. Here, I'm gonna put my watch on too because I know you're a cheater. <laughs> you ready? Ready. Set. Go. go. Hey, right, hang on. What? I forgot to hit record on the camera. You got muted all over again. You serious? Nope, just kidding. Oh! <laughs> Two minutes. Now I'm done. <laughs> Somebody owes me a beer. <laughs> what, what, what's the time? <gasps> Two minutes and 56 seconds. That was with me jacking up a lot of stuff. There is also, there's <laughs> di there's no dinner on the table, so. There's beer really on the count? table. Does that really count? Oh. I don't know. I All right, I'll give it to you. It's fast. <laughs> it's super, super fast. <laughs> now let's talk about it. One of the best features on this trailer and one of my wife's most favorite is the kitchen. This thing's got a lot of space on it and it's really easy to get to. We've actually cooked lunch. Um, at a gas station. I was filling up the Forerunner while she was cooking back here. So it was really convenient, really nice. Um, Dometic three burner stove, stainless sink, tons of storage on here. We've loaded up for two weeks um, and still had room in here. And yeah, it's just badass. Other really cool features on this thing is water. Um, on this one, it comes standard with almost 50 gallons of water. So tons of water for showers, uh, washing dishes, brushing teeth, all that good stuff. Um, other things that it has up here, it, you can see the uh, Manager 30 for uh, the Red Arc system uh, that manages power coming from the vehicle, solar power, and you can also plug it in to uh, shore power as well. So really does it all. With the solar panels, we have 275 watt panels on the roof 
and that is standard and we also have a 100 amp hour lithium battery which is also standard. When it comes to storage, the kitchen just has ton of storage. We have four main cabinets and they're just huge. Uh, we have different bins and everything for different supplies. You can set them up however you want. Um, then we have the optional uh, spice rack and utensil drawer. Just makes storage a little nicer where everything has its place. The upper cabinets are also really cool for your smaller items. Uh, we keep cups up there, our uh, fire starter for um, our fire pits and everything else. And then we are also gonna be putting a uh, dedicated base camp first aid kit in there as well. Lighting system is really cool. Super bright lights, we have three underneath. Uh, they actually turn blue as well. So if you want to uh, keep the bugs down and everything else, not destroy your night vision, that blue also helps. Another light strip uh, as an option up top, it's color changing, boom, right there. Uh, don't let the kids play with the remote. They may lose it. Ask me how I know. With the kitchen comes the fridge. The fridge is not included. This is our uh, Dometic 75 dual zone. Um, this is what we had. It can actually fit the 95 dual zone or the 100, uh, just one single huge opening. Um, we like the dual zones because you can do fridge, freezer, fridge, fridge, freezer, freezer, however you want to set it up. But slides are super beefy to be able to hold a 95 liter dual zone filled with food no supports or anything else um, that's a lot of food that you can bring in the fridge uh, on the door it also has a support to keep it from swinging and everything else keeps it out of the way just an awesome awesome build the fridge is powered by an Anderson cable that way it's not going to come loose when you're jostling down the trail and everything else so Nice little benefit. The fit and finish on the trailer is top notch. Tension to detail all the way around is just impeccable. Even on the interior of the fridge slide is all carpeted and completely finished out. Here at the front of the trailer, we have storage. This thing's really cool. I keep a five gallon water jug here and a um, step ladder for some reason. It came with it, so I keep it here. Um, also, this is where the poles, everything are. My uh, drill uh, with 18 millimeter socket on there as well. And this is also the button to lift and raise. The top is on, on this side. Uh, and dust suppression system and light. And since we're over here, I wanna talk about this thing. All of the Recon series are made completely in Australia, Australian steel, full thing. So, and it's owned in Australia. I own this one, but the company is owned in Australia. People get confused by that. <laughs> and by people, I mean that guy. <laughs> Australian made, American owned. The very front end of this actually has a lot going on. Number one, the padding. This is an optional padding, but honestly, it's really necessary in my opinion. It comes off, it's Velcro, some snaps, it pulls right out so you can clean underneath it, keep it you know keeping it fresh but it, this really protects it from rocks branches and everything else while you're out you know in the back country it has handles so with the arc wheel you can actually push this thing on concrete even though base weights 3500 pounds another really cool feature are these guys right here these are spaced in front of the body a little bit so these can take an impact from rocks and everything else and if they get too beat up you can actually just pull them off get new ones on there or just have them repowder coated and it has mud flaps in the front and also behind the tires up front is the gas cabinet you have two five pound propane tanks continuing on the opposite side same door however little different it feeds all the way through so you can have your poles and everything for the awning and we keep our lava box on this thing and that thing is awesome we've been using the heck out of it gear this thing holds some gear we pulled all this stuff out just to show you guys the interior but that's even that's just half oh that's nice this is a huge amount of gear. It's pretty much three quarters underneath the queen size bed. And man, we, we even can put our uh, stand-up paddle board, uh, inflatable stand-up paddle board back here. Tons of gear room. The main reason we took all the gear out, not just to show you the massive space in here, is also to show you the utility. Right up under here, that's water tanks, 
your water pump, water filter is all down here along with your uh, battery system. This thing has got room for actually one more water tank. So pretty much 75 gallons of water. I mean, just massive amounts of water. The little panel back is gonna be access to your fuse panel and also where the manager 30 is. You can remove the whole wall to get to it if you need to add inverters or anything else. Um, but the manager 30 is standard and the thing is awesome that powers uh, or manages the power from the solar panels. We have a Anderson plug on the front to connect the vehicle to charge while we're driving and then a rear Anderson plug on the back for solar panels remote solar panels i should say uh, so that way if you're parked in the shade and you're not getting a whole lot of sun on the panels on top you can remote a panel out and you're good to go another really cool thing is the dust suppression system on this it's just badass with a push of a button before you actually hit a dirty trail it will actually start sucking in air put it through a filter create a positive pressure so that way on the seals, even though they're quality seals, if there's any vibration or anything, air is gonna be pushed out instead of sucked in with a whole bunch of dust. The other cool thing with the shower is that it's already plumbed into the same as the sink, so you got hot water right off demand. We've upgraded to a Truma Combi, so it's furnace and hot water, but it comes standard with a hot water. The other cool thing is when you have the optional ensuite off the rear, this reaches over to it and we'll show you that right now i keep my ensuite up in the front storage compartment so that way it's nice and clean um, some people leave it on the back but i like it clean really easy setup and then there's a support that will actually lock it into place so the wind won't close it and then you can just guy out the bottom and you're good to go because they build all their own stuff, they put the zipper exactly where it needs to go so you can feed the hose right into the shower. Moving on to the back, a lot going on. Number one, comes with a full size spare. This one's been optioned up with hydraulic shocks to help drop it down, make it a little easier. Nobody wants to lift a 150 pound tire three feet off the ground. The tires are standard mud terrain tires. And one of my favorite things is that it's a Toyota bolt pattern on the wheels. So that way later on down the road, I'm actually gonna switch these out to some method wheels and matching tires. So that way I've got three extra tires from the trailer to match the 4Runner. Another great option is the firebox. You can put pretty much anything you want. There's a few options. You can get another spare tire on here if you really want. Uh, we want the firebox. One, firewood can be used for trash and everything else. It's got a mesh bottom. Dirt, water can drain out, cover, keep everything nice. Standard on the trailers are LEDs. You have area lights on passenger side, driver side, and the rear uh, LEDs. They light up the area really nice. Also, uh, all the clearance lights, brake lights, tail lights, all of that, all LED. There's also three connections in the back. You have propane bayonet style lug on there. Uh, then you have an air when you have the uh, optioned out air suspension system. And then the standard Anderson plug for the uh, solar remote. The Recon Series come standard with an awning. This one is a Fiamma awning. Um, I've optioned it out with the anti-flap kit and to be able to attach the walls to make an annex room. We can actually enclose this entire area when it's super cold weather or, you know, bug area. The Recon's come standard with a Cruise Master independent suspension. This one's been upgraded with the airbag suspension and it's really cool because you can actually raise and lower it plus minus four inches. These are the controls. You can control each tire left and right independently. It also helps with leveling out when you get to your campsite. Additional benefits of having the airbag suspension is you have an air tank on there and a line out on the rear. So you can actually use that to inflate your tires, inflate your vehicle tires, uh, inflate a mattress, whatever you want uh, on there, it's pretty cool. 
Um, also, there's line indicators in the wheel wells that show you the ride height it should be at when you're on the highway. Before we even get into the interior, we gotta start at the front door. The handle on this thing, while it's a handle, doesn't sound cool, actually really is. It has a visual indicator, so it's locked, it's flat. As soon as you unlock it, it pops out, so you know automatically. Then you have a screen door, roll up privacy screen, so when you leave the screen door open, no one's peeping in on you. What's up everybody, come check out my crib. One of the biggest factors on the interior is this full-size queen bed. This thing is massive, it's super comfortable. Uh, I figured I was gonna have to replace it because I'm used to sleeping on a Tempur-Pedic. Nah, this thing is just as comfortable. Uh, other thing, there's two cubbies on the side with 12 volt power over there, USB, so you can plug in and charge your phone at night. Um, we also have a uh, projector that we just project right on the white walls and watch movies uh, at night as a family. There's tons of storage in here. We have seven drawers, uh, three big, four small drawers. We have two cabinets, just tons of storage. We have games and everything to keep us occupied when the weather has gone afoul on us. Sleeping for the kids, we've got the dinette that turns into a sleeping area and then the bunk. Here we have it in dinette mode. Uh, there's enough seating for three people here. Um, we normally keep it in the bunk configuration and we will only really use the dinette when it's bad weather and we're actually gonna eat in here. But normally we eat outside, you know? You go into the back country to not spend time inside, spend it outside. Right now we're in dinette mode. Let's change it back over to sleep mode. Just unscrew the leg and there's a huge cubby over here that we like to keep our pillows, stuffies, and anything else. Here's two tabs underneath, pops right off. And it fits right there. Throw the pad on, I'm ready for bed. And the boys normally just use uh, sleeping bags. Ready for bed. Uh, bunk folds up out of the way when we're not using it and gives us a little bit more room. We also optioned in a sink so that way we can brush our teeth, wash our hands and face before bed. Um, another option is the Truma Combi to have heat uh, on the inside. We've used that a few times already. Uh, we've been pretty close to freezing. Um, we've had ice actually outside so it was freezing and we were really warm on the interior here. Also lots of light. Um, with all the windows and everything, we've got tons of light ventilation. We also have a Sirocco fan, uh, which is really cool. Can spin in any direction to put air where you need it. Uh, the lighting system is also really cool. It's controlled off one switch, but each uh, pod has a button on there. It's just like the ones in the kitchen. You can turn it blue. And also, there's a nightlight feature as well, which I just found out about it accidentally. And that is really cool because it gets really dark in here. And if you have, if you have to get up and go pee in the middle of the night, that nightlight really helps you to get out. Another feature, getting in and out of the bed. There's actually a ladder back here uh, that you can use or you can just step up on the bench to get in. Ladder makes it a little easier, but it does take up some square footage on the floor. All right, bro, so where can people find more information if they want one of these for themselves? Hey, you can find it on our website. It's overlandingnorthamerica.com. We've got some information on the different models available that are coming to the United States. And yeah, you can also keep track on Overlanding North America on Instagram as well. All right, bro, this trailer is really, really nice. I honestly can't wait to do our first trip with it to really put it through its paces. Um, obviously, we know it's gonna perform, but I just wanna see it firsthand. Oh yeah, yeah, we've had it on a couple family trips already, but not a full-blown adventure-built trip. No. Nope. So, because we always seem to push our rigs and now our trailer to the limit when we go out. Yeah, I think we might dial it back just a little bit. You know, let's not destroy this thing, but we're definitely gonna test it. Send it. Send it, <laughs> full send. Yeah, that's what he says until it really happens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we're like, you crashed my trailer. <laughs>
All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed that walk around. I mean, this thing is just really, really sweet. 100% worth the very high price tag that it is. But, you know, for uh, top quality, top price. Yeah, so you get what you pay it. for. Exactly, 100%. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Follow us on IG, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Why is my beard it like zebraed out? God damn it, my beard's overexposed. That's not cool. <laughs> too, much, too much gray hair. <laughs> the gray is reflecting <laughs> off the sun, apparently. It's not right. Overlanding North America. Do it. You couldn't say do it and point the finger at the same time. I, it was weird. <laughs> it was weird. It didn't feel right. Well, really, the long pause it didn't between. Feel right. That's all like. I'm like, I don't. I do never, it! I, ne <laughs> I never know what to do. It's right there. On the, I know. It's on the trailer. But I'm reading it backwards. So <laughs> I can see everything. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, it'll I work. Could do, I could do it. No, you can't, obviously, because you fucked up twice now. <laughs> Normally, I do it. It's fine. It. It's fine. I don't know if I can get all of that out. All you have to do is say, stay tuned. I have to get all of that out. <laughs> mm. Okay. <laughs> wow, that was so energetic. Jesus fucking Christ. That's <laughs> Uh, and then that looks like a black light to me. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want black light up there. <laughs> never, never put black lights in a bedroom. Yeah. Other really cool details on this thing is never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Open her up, Bobby. <laughs> We've got a parabolic mic over there. They're like, now they're talking. Do it now. <laughs> they're all over there. <laughs> Those guys. They're so funny. Uh, 175. All right. <laughs> Campfire. Or, God, I keep Jesus, saying fire. Jesus, you're an idiot. <laughs> All right, let me try that again. <laughs> I know, I had a so. <laughs> no, he said everything else and everything else. Oh, really? I said so and everything you else. You hear it? Trail and everything else. So, nice little benefit. <laughs> you blah, blah, it? blah. Did you hear it? <laughs> you said everything and everything else like eight times already. Ah. <laughs> No, it's super cool. I love cutting out half the shit you say. <laughs> you gotta keep you on your toes. Uh, That's gonna be my new saying. Forget forget do it. It's not new. Forget do it. It's gonna be and everything else. Did you already hit record? Yeah. Oh nice, nice, nice. Can you mm. hear the boo doo Great director. <laughs> I didn't know the phone was directing yeah. me. <laughs> Bought for two, five pain. Five pain. You're a five pain in my ass. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that hurt. I wish I had gotten that one. That hurt. Oh. What'd you do? Well, I bumped my head. <laughs> oh my God, I can't grab it now. <laughs> I've smacked myself stupid. <laughs> just now. This happened just now. I'm so dirty. <laughs> oh my God. Let me do that over. <laughs> Please say something comprehensible. Yes. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'll just subtitle it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>